Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Thrifty Tashi. I popped in a Goodwill just to check out early Christmas decor and to get Christmas gift ideas. I always try to stick to my budget <laughs> regardless of the season. Now, during this particular time, um, Hurricane Ian, I believe it's called, is near. So my family and I, we already prepped. We're true Floridians. All will be well. God is protecting us. So I pray for others that's going through this particular time as well and I just thought it'll be just fun to ease my mind a little bit and go thrifting. I thought this owl was so cute. I really thought about my cousin, you know, just adding a little piece of home decor in her new home. But you know, everybody have different styles. So I just left that behind. There were only a small selection of Christmas decor in this little area, but I'm pretty sure after Halloween, the shelves will be loaded, so I will be back. I really wish I would have picked up this Pottery Barn stocking holder. It was in great condition, classic Christmas look, but the back was missing. So I know I love thrifting, but I didn't want the gift to look incomplete. So I just left it behind. y'all so i'm back from the goodwill i only have a few items to share well it's pretty much two items from the goodwill and also within this haul i am going to add additional items that i thrifted but it wasn't from the goodwill all right so the first item i'm going to share is for a co-worker usually on my job we do secret santa and each day there's a theme so one day is like give a christmas card the second day is to give a christmas ornament so instead of just going to the typical walmart or dollar tree to pick up an ornament i really want it to be personalized so i found this beautiful ornament and it's also a stocking holder for only three dollars y'all look at this and it's also hand painted can you believe that now I can tell that this never been open. Everything is in place. There's no torn areas or anything like that. I just think that particular coworker is definitely gonna love this Christmas ornament. And that's why I love to go thrifting. You always find these unique, oh my gosh, unique things. And you probably already noticed in the video clip, some of these ornaments had like a pink accent color. So I really didn't want that color. I'm happy I found this one red ornament just with the traditional Christmas colors. And I just think it'll be perfect. I love that this is hand painted. It feels that way. And it's a stocking holder at the same time. So this is great. I can cross this off of my Christmas to-do list because I know we do it every year on my job, the same thing. So this will be perfect. And I think that particular coworker will love it. So I have this one here. Now, another um, 
Christmas item I picked up. I paid $3 again. It's for me. It's not for anyone else, but I love a vintage style country tree. And I have these beautiful gold ornaments, $3 for the pack of six. And my Christmas tree is also thrifted. So I really love just putting my touch when it comes to my home decor. Although I love that country rustic kind of look, I don't want my home to look like the next typical home. I like, you know, I have my style. So I really am loving these ornaments. I am going to head on out to the thrift stores again, you know, to check out more Christmas decor because I know after Halloween, they'll probably get it going more. So I can't wait for that. Now, another ornament I paid $8 for, it wasn't from Goodwill or the typical thrift kind of store, Salvation Army. It's from a small business owner and I love to support her shop. So I mentioned her shop numerous times here on my channel. It's local. I live in South Florida and I just love everything that she pretty much have in there. I pay $8 for it, but to give y'all a closer look at this ornament, it's beautiful. It has like a floral look to it and some greenery. I just think this is so unique. It's really pretty. I've never seen anything like it and it's already on a little ripping. So perfect for my Christmas tree and another ornament. Well, I'm going to use it as my ornament. I just thought this was cute as well. It's a, uh, let's see. It says Wilson Bohannon padlock and key June 1878 and it works. It's listed for $48, but she always give me a great deal because I pretty much brought a lot of stuff from her shop that that's going to be in the next video. So I, I just wanted to pick certain things out of the bunch into this video because it's Christmas related. And I just think this is a beautiful lock and key that I'm just going to hang on my Christmas tree as well. I'm going to try to open it. I don't want to break it, but I have this one also and it's really solid y'all it, it has some weight to it i just thought that would be perfect so those are pretty much all of my items that i found so far for the holiday season now here on my channel i am i can't wait y'all to share budget-friendly personalized gift ideas when it comes to edible gifts um thrifty kind of gifts so if you're not already subscribed to my channel i will always appreciate it if y'all give this video a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel hillary from over home she also created a personalized christmas planner and i'll link it down below I already ordered mine on amazon i cannot wait to finally use it because I'm not going to claim it, but time management is an issue. I always wait till the last minute to do my Christmas shopping. So this season, I'm going to plan ahead and I'm going to use her planner to do so. So thank you, Hillary, for that idea. I really am excited to use your planner. And yeah, so those are pretty much all of my items. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, y'all take care and be safe. Lots going on with the weather and everything, but all will be well. All right, so take care, y'all, and I'll check back with y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.